that it's going to be the ultimate challenge. The best guys in the world that are tuned up to the highest level and they're the most prepared they are all season for that one day. Located 25 miles northwest of Denver and at the base of the Rocky Mountains is the town of Boulder, Colorado. It's the mecca for some of the best endurance athletes on the planet, including Ben Hoffman. Ben turned pro triathlete in 2007, and every year since, he's set his eyes on qualifying for the Ironman World Championship. With a second place finish there in 2014, his goal is not only to qualify for Kona, but to reach the top step of the podium. I think for me, from the beginning, um, I was quite serious about triathlon. I really enjoyed, you know, pushing my boundaries and seeing how good I could be. But the true transition from age group athlete or amateur to professional was probably in my 2006 season. Um, I won the collegiate national title and then I decided to go professional. It looks like a dream life and in a lot of ways it really is. I mean, I'm very passionate about what I do. I love this lifestyle and uh, I love training every single day and seeing how good I can be in the sport, but it definitely doesn't come without some stress. And I think when your livelihood depends on it, um, obviously it adds a, a few layers to the pressure side of things. You know, you're living this lifestyle that you're pushing yourself every day. You know, I look at it as this is my window to be doing this right now, to see how good I can be, and that requires some sort of extreme behavior. When the opportunity to race in the ABSA Cape Epic presented itself in early 2018, Ben couldn't resist. The eight-day mountain bike stage race travels over 7,000 kilometers. Ben and Ironman world champion Sebastian Keenley were invited to race as teammates on behalf of the Ironman Foundation. It was a decision that would change the course of his 2018 season. I definitely took a different approach this year. I talked with my coach and this opportunity came along to do the Cape Epic and we said, hey, can we do both? Can we do Ironman South Africa again, still try to defend the title, but fit in this really awesome, crazy mountain bike race, have this other experience too and give, give a little bit of a mental break to yourself. I got what I was looking for. I got something different, a real eye-opening experience, a massive challenge, something that I definitely underestimated. and. It kind of kicked my butt, you know, on a lot of levels, physically and I think mentally. It was a real, real challenge. But there were a few setbacks. I mean, I had a, I had a crash in the race and it kind of threw my SI joint out in my back a little bit. You know, sometimes you have a plan, you get used to a certain way of doing things. After having been second and been fourth, I think being ninth place last year, it didn't really meet my expectations. Really, I think to be, to be better, you have to change things. And I do think that there's a possibility for you know, a real positive outcome and a learning experience, if nothing else, which will hopefully make me better. Located on the coast, 450 miles from Cape Town, Nelson Mandela Bay is home to the Standard Bank Ironman African Championship South Africa. And this place is really incredibly naturally beautiful, um, but you know, the moment you step off the plane, you can just tell people here are warm and friendly and they greet you in a special way where you feel like you're you know, coming home. In this year's race, we're still under the system of a points-based qualification criteria. I finished ninth place in Kona last year, which gave me quite a few points, and I've had a 70.3 or two that also added some points. So at this stage, the main thing for me is making sure that I finish the race. I don't need a lot of points, um, but I definitely have to complete the distance. I think any time before an Ironman, you just have this nervous energy, but it's just that sort of feeling that, you know, you're about to take on this incredibly hard, challenging day. You hold out that hope that maybe you're going to have that surprise performance where you step off the bike and you feel magic on the run.
over 1,700 pro and age group athletes begin the 2.4 mile swim in Nelson Mandela Bay. The one loop swim course takes athletes from Hobby Beach, past Humewood Beach, all the way to Kings Beach. Athletes will turn around the buoys and return back to shore on Hobby Beach where they exit the swim. Ben exits the water in 49.17. With the chop in Nelson Mandela Bay this morning, he'll take it. He's in ninth position heading into T1. With having one of the quickest swim to bike transitions of the pro field in 208, Ben is off to the races. The Standard Bank Ironman African Championship South Africa bike course is arguably one of the most spectacular on the Ironman world circuit. Athletes will complete two 60-mile loops starting in town on Marine Drive, along the coast to Sardinia Bay Road, and then to Seaview Road through the countryside. Ben is in the early miles on the bike. Last year, Ben finished the race in 8 hours and 13 minutes. Being the two-time defending champion, he knows a strong bike will put him in contention for the win. I started out and right away I knew I had to catch that group. So I hit the gas, you know, I went full throttle basically through the first 20 or 30 kilometers. And I think right around maybe 30 kilometers I latched onto the back of that group and I was able to take a little bit of a breather before I moved to the front and started doing some work with the other strong cyclists. And at that point, you know, Cameron Wirth had already taken off up the road, Josh was up the road, Josh Hamburger, and I knew that those guys were threats, but I knew that I also had to ride my own race. So I settled into a rhythm and was able to ride a strong bike leg and put myself in a position for a win at that race. The top pro men arrive at T2 and Ben is off the bike in third place. He quickly transitions from bike to run in 227. His back injury is holding up at the moment, but a lot can happen when you head out for a 26.2 mile run. Run records are made to be broken on the flat and fast Coastal Marathon run course. Athletes will run four six mile loops past thick crowds of support along Marine Drive. This is where the race can change dramatically. As the lead men make their way back toward town, Ben is nowhere in sight. He's fallen back to eighth place, If I were honest with myself, I knew there was a good chance that my run wasn't going to go right. Even within the first kilometer, the pain was pretty excruciating and I was slowed to a walk. A lot of thoughts going through my head. Of course, I was concerned about my health, just general disappointment, frustration. I really didn't know the full extent of my injury or if I was making it worse. Um, how long it would take to recover from, and if I would be able to do another Ironman in time to qualify for Kona. I had serious doubts about whether or not I was going to finish. As the pro men and women podium and celebrate their victories, last year's winner is at mile 14 and having a very different experience. His entire season is in jeopardy, but he's not giving up. It's one foot in front of the other until you reach that finish line. This is Iron Man, and Ben is showing the character of a true champion. Maybe it's the red carpet, the spectators. Or it could be that after going 140.6 miles, these athletes have gained personal life lessons they can take with them forever. Ben Hoffman has also made it to the red carpet because this is what champions do. They finish what they start. They honor the race. Because he was able to collect 3,400 points in Kona in 2017, by crossing the finish line tonight, Ben Hoffman has validated his Ironman World Championship Kona slot. Even though this wasn't the race he had hoped for, the humbling experience gave him learnings he can take back to Boulder, Colorado. Definitely contemplated quitting many times and honestly just out of respect for the people here in the race I, I felt like I needed to finish and I knew that I could even if I had to walk the whole thing so I mean I'm proud of that I'm disappointed 
but yeah, live to fight another day. Hopefully I can uh, get this thing sorted and get back on track for the season. Time to take a little break. In future episodes, follow this season's quest for Kona athletes as they attempt to qualify for the 2018 Ironman World Championship. Follow us on our Facebook watch channel Ironman now for full race week coverage.